basically, you know, I just been needing to kind of get out of my comfort zone, just kind of do something different. And um, then I got a text from Heather Clark, and she's been like, you know, dying to have me come out here and help her, you know, train for her next fight. And um, just kind of seemed like. It just seemed like, ah, there it is. Like, I didn't know what to do this whole time. And here's, here's an opportunity right now. You know, normally there's always been something else, like some other obligation. And, you know, I've been fight after fight after fight. Now now I have some time off that I can just just not focus on me for a second and help somebody else. And, um, you know, just go on an adventure, you know. Um, and, and then also go out to UFC fights. But then I was, like, kind of, like, starting this week off as, like, Okay, now I'm now I'm focusing on Heather. Like, um, we're gonna we're just gonna train really hard and enjoy, just have some fun this the rest of this week, and then kind of see from there, you know, play things out. I'm not really, I don't really have like a specific plan right now. I'm just kind of going with the flow and taking one day at a time. Um, to me, it's like, you know, people people have this like perception of like, oh, why why would you be training with Heather Clark or something like that? Or, you know, weren't y'all like enemies on the show? It's like really, <laughs> like enemies? I don't feel like I have enemies. I think, um, you know, our own insecurities, our own, uh, you know, faults are our enemy, not just another person. You know. And that's the thing, like people, it's not so much that like editing, like oh, like. So is ed editing really like uh, affect that much of the viewer, or is it like, um, or is it like realistic how it, how it w like what happened? Well, yeah, everything that you see on TV happened the way that it happened, or it happened, right? It physically happened. I mean, you can't edit that, but you can pick and choose which parts you put together, and then it kind of makes it seem a certain way compared to like a different story. I mean, like everybody tells you like three different people can tell you the same story and see it all happen, but they all see it differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the same way you could, like, watch a fight and, or three different judges watch a fight and totally disagree. Just the same way, like, if you pick certain parts and we, we um, naturally just pick what we want to see sometimes, you know? So I think that's kind of what, like, when people ask, you know, what do you think about, like, the editing on the show? It's like, I mean... Obviously, I was portrayed, I mean, pretty fairly, you know, like, I think, for the most part. But uh, I think I like to compare The Ultimate Fighter to how, you know, a highlight video of a fighter is. Like, I feel like The Ultimate Fighter is just a highlight reel of, like, what happened. So, like, if something was kind of bad, it's, like, extra bad on the show. Because, like, all these little pizza pieces add up together. And it's, like, you know, you can look at any situation and, like, compile evidence and say, like, this little piece by itself doesn't look so bad. But then when you put it in context of everything else, it's like, oh, that looks bad. Or it looks good. So. If you had an opportunity to, like, like coach the show. Yeah, I, I would. At first, like, when I was asked that, I think the first time I was asked that, I was kind of, like, Oh, no, I don't know if I would do that, but I don't know why. It's like, it's just, I don't know, sad human being or something at the time, maybe. But, yeah, now that, I'm, like, now that I think about it, like, that would be a huge opportunity. I would love to do that. I think it would, like, make for a great story. I feel like I will make a great coach. I think that was maybe the thing. It's like, I would, at one point, I was, like, you know, didn't really have the confidence in myself to be like, oh, I can tell what pe like, people what to do. 
you know, or like I might not, cause I, you know, like sometimes you like, like people, like other coaches like to put it in your head, like as if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like I may not know. I was just saying this early. Like I may not know everything, but I know something. And I also probably know something that you don't know. So you better fucking listen. You know, so, dealing with certain things. You know, so I would feel like I make a great coach. You know, on the ultimate fighter, I feel like I have a lot of knowledge and a lot of things to say. Um. So, I think that would be fun. so excited she's just been like she's not used to not like getting her energy out every yeah. day and like she's well behaved but you could tell like she wasn't really listening to me today yeah. and stuff as yeah. it's it's quick as she normally does hey buddy oh my goodness this fur is so cool. or her uh, heads I don't know Like, no, <laughs> she's gotten so many fights like that where like the other dog's going for it too and it's just like she like <laughs> <laughs> Oh ooh that girl <laughs> Yeah that's right Go play go play All the girls just, like, that's why everybody, like, talks shit about, like, you know, how the rest of the girls were and stuff. But they, they just, they treated me so well, and, like, they was all down for me. Just scrap it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that, you know, all that other stuff doesn't really matter to me, like, catty stuff, like, whatever. I didn't try to be catty. I just, like, I just go off of people how they treat me, you know? And not everybody treat, shows me their, like, their side that they treat like everybody else like are all here certain things about certain people i'm like really they're so nice to me you know like whatever but i don't know i, I try not to get involved i hope you enjoyed the first episode of thug diaries as much as i did um i'm really looking forward to the next episode we got a little sneak peek footage um coming up here in a second as well as some bonus footage before i left colorado and i got my brown belt so um stay tuned and subscribe to this channel and just uh Keep following me and thank you guys for watching. So we're here at 303 doing a little uh, party. Hey, thank you, Angela. Um, and uh, we're just having a party and stuff and get my brown belt I never really like like I was just saying before I never really pay attention to belts you know because I like I'm just so used to it like growing up in taekwondo karate stuff but um Tony makes jujitsu fun you know he uh he makes me like excited about getting my next belt so um you know it's not super formal or anything it's just like kind of you know fun and like I said after I, I kind of took a break so I kind of cheated but what what it is after we get our belt whoever um stays on the mat until like the last person on the mat gets a prize or something so I actually I'm cheating right now I'm taking off around but I'm gonna get that prize so I'm gonna keep going and I as you can tell I'm probably all red and shit <laughs> all like scratched up but whatever so
next time on Thug Diaries. Hey man, if this ends up on the web, I'm gonna find you. <laughs>